House Democrats hold historic second hearing on Medicare for All. The National Nurses United called it another step towards passing this vital piece of legislation. So after Democrats held the first ever congressional hearing on Medicare for All last month, the House Budget Committee on Wednesday morning invited federal officials to testify at a historic second hearing on the cost of replacing the nation's current for-profit system with one that guarantees health care as a right for all Americans. I love how they frame that sentence. Like, that, that's really just, because it just sums it up. Like, it's a really subtle way of saying, hey, we're doing really evil shit, and we're thinking about maybe not being evil. Hey, they had a hearing about replacing our for-profit system, replacing that whole idea that we've been entertaining for years that the human body is a profit center, that people's health is worth making money off of. That whole, that whole notion that is morally repulsive at every level, no matter how you frame it, that we've just passively accepted for years and years, we're revisiting that and maybe going to the idea that, you know, every other industrialized nation entertains, that health care is a right. That you have the right to health care if you're born in the richest country in the frickin' world. We're, we're moving away from We We thought maybe we shouldn't be evil as fuck. Maybe we shouldn't be as evil as one can possibly be. Maybe we shouldn't accept this structure. I like that. Good job, Common Dreams. I like that. All right, so going back to the article here. So unlike the hearing in April in the House Rules Committee, Wednesday's hearing, this was yesterday as of the recording of this, Wednesday's hearing did not feature outside experts or activists. Instead, all three witnesses are officials from the Congressional Budget Office, the federal agency that provides budget and economic information to Congress. Given the hearing's focus on a recent CBO analysis, Susanna Luthi highlighted five things to listen for as Republicans took for points for 2020 campaign messaging and Democrats try to keep the focus on how to close the coverage gap that persists despite the Affordable Care Act. So the hearing's restrictive witness list did not stop advocates of the Medicare for All Act of 2019 introduced by Pramila Jayapal in February from showing their support. So on Tuesday, 209 economists signed a public statement which says in part, the time is now to create a universal single-payer Medicare for All healthcare system in the United States. 209 what? Economists. What do economists do? They deal with scarcity. They address how we deal with scarcity. That's what economists do. And they're saying the way to go is a nonprofit single-payer system. Economists are saying that. Now, it doesn't take an economist to realize that, gee, when you made a profit center out of healthcare, when you have a for-profit middleman dictating the price of healthcare uh, and dictating uh, to the doctors and so forth, not only are results going to be shittier, but costs are going to go up. That's why we pay more and get less than every other industrialized country in the world when it comes to healthcare. But now you have over 200 economists that agree. So whenever somebody says, how are we going to afford a cheaper healthcare plan? You say, 209 economists! 209 of them! Economists! They do economy stuff for a fucking job! They're saying it's cheaper! Who else decided it was cheaper? Gee, people uh, hired by the Koch brothers, the Koch brothers, the right wing people who do not want to see anything close to a universal system, organizations that they hired couldn't get around the fact that yes, Medicare for all is cheaper and saves money. The Koch brothers. So 209 economists did that. And now the Congressional Budget Office, the CBO's report on the bill shows And this is according to the nurses. The CBO's report on the bill, who was there, the Congressional Budget Office was there, shows that a Medicare for All system can be designed and implemented in the United States in a way where every man, woman, and child can have guaranteed safe therapeutic health care and that the country can save trillions of dollars in the process. So the Congressional Budget Office concluded that. Uh, Organizations hired by the Koch brothers to pan Medicare for all, they still concluded it saves money and it covers everyone. 209 economists issued a letter saying the single-payer method needs to be the way we go. What more do you need? What more do you need that going to a single-payer Medicare for all system covers everybody in the United States, not one human being excluded, and it's less than what we pay now for health care? And they're going to try to fudge the numbers to fuck with that truth. 
They're going to say, well, look at this government expenditure. Look how much more the government is spending. Yeah, because you're reallocating how the resources go. It's going to go through the government now instead of through all these for-profit middlemen. So it's going to look different on paper from the government perspective, but we're already spending the money. And I just I just bumped my mic out of out of frustration. It's like you have a $300 car payment and the reason your car payment is $300 is because you go through this for-profit middle person who's deciding that, oh, well, you need all these other uh, fees and surcharges on your car in case you need this or that. Now, instead of doing that, you're actually just going to pay uh, sort of a direct nonprofit rate to make sure that, you know, you do your car payment. So it's going to be cheaper. It's going to be $200 a month. It's just going to go through this other agency. So the numbers are going to look higher on that agency. You see what I'm saying? It's not rocket science. So there you go. Another hearing on Medicare for All. Another hearing saying it's better. It, it insures everybody and it saves money. But people will tell you, Beto O'Rourke himself will say, hey, we don't have time for that. We don't. People, people are sick. They don't have time for a solution. Beto O'Rourke said that. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, all right. So, Medicare for All. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placo. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. 